Hello, hello. What is up, besties? I'm here to share a product with you that I love. Of course, that's what I do here. I share things that I love. I also share things that I hate in my brutally honest um, playlist, if you're interested in all of that. I do have that as a playlist. But today, I'm going to be talking about something that I get questions about, and so we're here to address it. I'm going to tell you all about it, and I'm going to show you a method to using it that you can do at home that is the easiest, no matter how bad you are at it, or even if you're good at it, I think you're really going to like this tip. So today we're talking about this hair that I have here. This does not belong to me. Like it doesn't, it belongs to me. It didn't grow out of my head. Um, so we're going to discuss it because I have gotten a lot of questions about it. So I figured it'd be easier to do a YouTube video. This video is not sponsored. However, I do have a discount code for you guys for $15 off your purchase because I have actually reviewed um, hair from this company before. I did that last year. It was one of those halos. It's like hair that's on like a clear wire that you just sit on top of your head and it gives you um, extra length and a little bit more volume. And that one went really well. So I'll link that video down below if you're interested in getting one of those halo pieces. Maybe tape-ins or clip-ins aren't for you. So I will link that. But today we're going to be talking about these tape-ins. This is real human hair. I will also in the description, I'll write down what the color was because I can't remember right off top. Like I have it here and I'll show it to you. But um, like how it was listed, I'll link down below in case you guys need like the exact same color or whatever. But whenever you order hair online, of course the lighting is a little bit different in each photo and stuff like that. So just really try to do your research to make sure that you're getting as close to your color as you can. And if you are blonde and it comes and it's not as close, you can tone it with purple shampoo at home. I just leave my purple shampoo on mine for 10 minutes and rinse it out. And it takes a lot of the brassiness out. I think that mine needs to be done maybe one more time and then it's going to be the perfect color. Now, tape in extensions do tape to your hair. They can be really good and not damaging if you do it correctly and if you remove them correctly. You do wash your hair normally like your head and everything with these in um you know you just be really careful not to get any oils uh near the tapes you don't use conditioner on them only condition the ends of your hair that kind of stuff so uh let me go ahead and show you what came in the box really quick and then i'm going to show you guys how to apply these it's a japanese method and you're going to die so this is what the packaging will look like when it comes to you it's in a really pretty box with their labeling on it it comes with a card with some information on it as well as a clip to clip your hair out of the way while you're putting it in your rows that clip works really really good it also comes with a rat tooth comb and extra tapes for each hair weft in case something happens to your tape or you want to reinstall them and use them again all you have to do is get new tapes and put them on there. So it does come 20 to a box and I did end up needing to use one and a half boxes. So if you don't have really thin hair and you have much more hair than I do, you're definitely going to want to get two boxes and use them both. As you can see, these are so thin that whenever you get them in your hair, even if you have the thinnest hair, you can't see them. Plus the method I'm fixing to show you it's going to blow your mind. It's going to change your tape-in game. Okay, now that we got all of that out of the way and you can see everything that came in the box. By the way, I'll have that discount code linked down below for you guys. I don't know if I said that, but I'm going to show you here how to apply one of these. I don't necessarily need to apply one, but I want to show this to you guys. So, here is one of the hair wefts. By the way, you will need two boxes, okay? So, um, like I had said, the one box comes with 20 pieces, and so you will need four because when you do tape-ins, you sandwich them together. So, like, you'll have this one on your hair. Well, yeah, like, you'll have your hair sticking in this one, and then you will sandwich this one on top like that, except you're not going to make it long like this. I'm going to show you what to do. So here is how I applied mine and it makes them like my hair, you guys, I have like four hairs. I'm not kidding. My hair is so thin. Um, I just have really thin hair and that's why I love this beautiful hair. I really like it for the length, to be honest. Anyone can wear these, even with the thinnest of hair with this method I'm about to show you. So here is what we're going to do. 
Here is your weft of hair, right? Scissors. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna cut it like from the top of it. Don't go from the hair side because then you're gonna cut some of your hairs out and that's not gonna be good. You're gonna cut it from this side. You're gonna cut it like in half. Just cut it right in half. And then you have a small half like this. This is what it looks like. Small little weft. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing again with cutting, except you're not gonna cut it all the way through. You're just gonna make a slit in it, like halfway down. Maybe a little further than like halfway down. So, like that. If you guys can see this. There is now a slit. You see how it will like bend? So it will be able to fold over and clamp. So then what you're going to do is, I'm just gonna do this as an example. I'm not gonna put this on my hair because I have all of my hair in already, but you are gonna take a tiny section and you will get used to it and you will see like how much of a section you need to take, like trial and error, do you know what I'm saying? Like, But you need like a tiny section. You wanna make sure you have enough hair in there that it's gonna hold, but nothing crazy. Let me just put you up here a little bit. Okay, so like this. And then when you lay it down, it will stick to it and then you will fold it over and it is the tiniest, tiniest like little weft ever. So if your hair moves around, it's almost like beads. So if your hair moves around or anything, you are not going to be able to tell that you have tape ends in your hair. So each little piece is gonna be like this big. So instead of doing like, you know, three sandwiches of this across the bottom, you're gonna probably need to do about five little little tiny ones and then just work your way up that's it but that's what makes these like undetectable um doing it with this method like i'm telling you like and your hair can move you can move so freely around with your hair uh because they're so tiny and no one can see them you can feel them when you touch your head but no one can see them uh, another thing i wanted to show you guys is the back of my hair because i get so annoyed i think i'm crooked I get so annoyed at hair videos when they're like, oh, look at my hair. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's like, yeah, okay, what about the back? We want to see the back. And no one ever shows the freaking back of their hair. So I'm going to show you the back really quick. And I'm going to use my mirror so I can make sure that I'm in the viewfinder for you guys. Make sure I'm in there. So this is what the hair looks like in my head. It looks so good like that this is with that method of doing those teeny tiny little uh like it's almost like little beads because it's just such tiny tiny pieces so this is what it will look like if you curl it if you use that method and all of that this hair is gorgeous i'm going to buy some more um to have some like you know in not in stock but like stocked up in my bathroom um might try a lighter color next time but the hair is really good you can curl it wash it brush it flat iron it uh, you can put some oil on it to make sure that it stays healthy and doesn't dry out um i just really really love it and i've got a lot of compliments in person online and everything like um, people in person are like wow i cannot believe that's not your real hair that looks so good so i really love this hair it is very affordable for human hair compared to a lot of other brands it is incredibly affordable um, and then you can get 15 dollars off as well so don't forget to do that look down below for the code look down below for any information that you need um yeah, so I love this. I do highly, highly recommend this one. And I hope that you guys enjoy yours if you get it. If you do get some and you have social media like Instagram or anything, tag me over there so I can see what yours looks like if you do get it and install it. And if you do get it and you're stuck and you need help, message me and I will be more than happy to help you. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video.